Hi, it's Deanna, and today I'm going to show you this adorable little peanut of a bear that I'm selling. And he's going to be going into my Etsy shop in a moment. And so, you generally, I take pictures and post the pictures to my Etsy listing, but I decided to do a video because, as they say, a picture is worth a thousand words, but a video is worth a million. So, this is an English teddy bear, probably from around the 1950s. Now, I'm not a teddy bear expert, so with no tag, I'm unable to tell who made this little guy. But my guess is it's a Farnell. Or it could be, well, it's got to be English. <laughs> if anyone can help me out there, please tell me who made this little bear. He's really, really adorable. And he almost has like a frowny little face. <laughs> Look at his little lips and his little nose that's hand stitched. He appears to have glass eyes. Now, it's very hard to tell the difference between plastic and glass. But all I know is they're cold to the touch. And I think plastic eyes are not cold to the touch. So I could be wrong, but I believe they are glass. And so he's fully jointed, this little peanut. And uh, he's a dinky little guy. He measures in at about 10 inches tall. And he's great for the cabinet. So if you have quite a big teddy bear collection and you're overflowing and your bear den is just growing and growing, he's the perfect size to just squeeze in somewhere. And he's not too little but he's not great and big. He's not like gigantic. That's what I'm trying to say. But he is just like really, really adorable. So look at the little feet. They're red. So his felt paw pads have like some kind of a woolly red covering. They're not in bad condition, actually. Generally, there's a lot of moth holes in these type of uh, felt paw pads. And he's pretty uh, good. He's in, in good shape. Now, he does have slight, slight, slight mohair loss. I'll let you look at his fur. But all in all, he's pretty, pretty nice, and he's in good condition. A lot of these old bears are really, really threadbare. Get it? Threadbare? I know. I'm not even funny. But uh, he's in pretty uh, nice condition. His fur really hasn't faded. It's a really nice brownish honey-toned color with a little bit of, like, red in there, like almost like an auburn. Let me flip them over for you and show you. Um, hang on there one second. And he, uh, he's still trying to wave to you, by the way. And so like, this is how he looks on the back. So I could show you his fur condition. And uh, he's quite, quite lovely. Look at that stubby little arm. Now there's where the uh, losses are, right? in that spot on his right upper part of his uh, top part of his pore. But pretty much that's really not a problem. As uh, like I said earlier, a lot of these bears have really a lot of losses and stuff. And again, on the uh, left paw, just about where the uh, paw pad is, you can see a little loss, but nonetheless, it's really not that bad. So this little English guy really needs a home and I will ship worldwide. Just he needs a little love. That's all. He just needs someone to adopt him and to make that little frown become a smile. Will that person be you? I sure hope so. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I named him Peanut and Peanut really needs some hugs. I hope you can do that for me and give him a good home so I don't have to worry about him because he just has lots more love to give. Thanks so much for watching. Right, Peanut? Right. Oh, by the way, Peanut just told me to tell you his squeaker is not working anymore. But he'll be quiet. He promises.